When the fans tuned in to Season 17 of The Deadliest Catch, they quickly noticed that FV Saga and its crew were nowhere to be seen. And it left them wondering, where did FV Saga go? Did it sink? Did something similar happen to it? Where was Saga? Well, don't fret, because we have you guys covered. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Finale, and today we'll be telling you about the FV Saga from The Deadliest Catch, and what happened to it. So stick around and watch the video till the end. Before we begin, let us know which ship on The Deadliest Catch is your favorite in the comments below. The Deadliest Catch is a reality TV series that first premiered on the Discovery Channel on April 12, 2005. It now has 17 seasons and is also available on Discovery+. Plus. The show follows a group of fishermen and their voyages to the dangerous Bering Sea to catch Alaskan king crabs and snow crabs. The Aleutians Island port of Dutch Harbor, Alaska is the base of operations for the fishing fleet. The show's title, The Deadliest Catch, is derived from the inherent high risk of injury or death associated with this line of work. The show also highlights just how dangerous commercial fishing really is, especially in the merciless waters of the Bering Sea, where cold temperatures and frequent storms have led to the deaths of many. Keeping these facts in mind, when the saga was absent from the show, the fans assumed the worst and wondered if it had met with a fatal accident. Fortunately, that's not the case. Fishing vessel FV Saga is one of the most recognizable vessels on The Deadliest Catch, and has been part of the show's fleet of fishing vessels since its inception. During the show's 11th season, after cast member Elliot Neese left the show, Jake Anderson took over the command of the vessel. Since then, both FV Saga and Jake have grown in stature and have proved themselves worthy of surviving the harsh conditions of the Bering Sea. Even in the cold waters of the Bering Sea, Captain Jake Anderson and his FV Saga have frequently found themselves in hot water, swimming from one danger to another. The fishing vessel was built in 1979 and is roughly 107 feet in length and a gross tonnage of 198 tons. This makes the boat one of the most difficult vessels to steer, especially during typhoons. The reason for its absence from the 17th season of the show are some unforeseen challenges that have arisen for the vessel and its crew. The vessel did appear in Season 17, Episode 6, titled Restricted Zone, in which F.V. Saga faced some mechanical failures that put the lives of those on board at risk. The fans can take a sigh of relief that the FV Saga has fortunately not sunk. It is facing some difficult challenges which it will emerge from just like in the past. One such example is the 19th episode of Season 16, in which the crew of the FV Saga had to repair the ship's rudder while navigating extreme weather conditions. If the loose rudder fell out, the ship could have flooded and even sunk. Not only that, but a loose rudder makes it more difficult to steer, so it was imperative to fix it, despite the dangers of doing so. However, through sheer determination, the crew eventually managed to get themselves to safety. That was a close escape. Another major risk Jake had to take with the saga was going through the False Pass Strait. This strait is extremely difficult to navigate because of its shallow waters and a very lifelike animation actually showed us how the saga could very easily sink during the journey. Add to it the fact that the ship was low on power and its captain was a young 42-year-old Jake Anderson. Luckily, he made it through the perilous strait. Whew. Given the deadly, high-risk conditions of the sea, any of the vessels featured on the show could be at risk of sinking at any moment, and the saga is no exception. One such vessel, which met one of the show's deadliest tragedies, was the Scandies Rose, which sank, killing five of the seven crew members. Given its old age, it seems that the FV Saga's misfortunes are set to continue throughout the 17th season of The Deadliest Catch. The boat made its return to our screens in the 11th episode of season 17, titled Shipbreakers, which was released on June 22, 2021 on Discovery+. Plus. In the episode, the vessel's crew is forced to deal with a hydraulics failure. 
It is possible that such nagging issues continue to plague FV Saga and its crew during the filming of the 17th season, leading to their limited screen time. With that being said, let us know your thoughts about the video. Also, tell us your predictions if FV Saga will return for season 18 of The Deadliest Catch, if there is any, in the comments below. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos. Also, press the bell icon to get notified about future uploads. And we will see you next time. Till then, peace out.